the very simple thing that I want to do today, guys. Okay, I want to show you how to use a get calls, how to work with the get calls with the both uh, a simple SSA and with a unqualified SSA and qualified SSA as well. Both we will tell you today. Qualified SSA and unqualified SSA. So the first thing what we do here, guys, let's try to understand the get calls. Get calls are should be having a proc option, guys. Okay, get calls should be having a proc option, at least G, only G or only GO or GOP or even A is also fine. Okay, A is also fine. So once your proc option has been set for that get calls, there are two ways to read the data. Two ways to read or get the data get is the word get the data one is sequential guys okay one is the random okay you can get the data in sequential and you can get the data in random if at all you want to go sequential then you need to use a call called dli function dli call as gn gn stands as get next guys gn stands as get next if you are interested to get a particular record guys with a dli call you're going to need to use GU, a random call, get unique. Okay. Now, both of them you can use with SSA, without SSA, and the system will behave differently, guys. Okay. Basically, what happens if you want to read multiple records, you go for sequential, guys. If you are interested for a particular key record, then you need to go for random. But in the interview and for your knowledge as well, I'll show you the variations. With SSA, how the query, uh, the call will run. Without SSA, how the call will run. With qualified SSA, how the call will run. Without qualified SSA, how the call will run. I'll show you all the variations in class. And there is another fellow called the parent, parentage guys, parentage read or parentage get data. This one will be a GNP call. I better show it in practical than to explain you here. So these are my databases. OK, these are my databases and segments what I have created. And let me go to the program as well here. So anytime in into they'll ask you this question here. If you give a GN call without any SSA, how the control will flow? So the first point here is the first point over here is anytime you give a GN call or a GU call for the first time, system will read the first segment record guys, the root segment record. Okay, if you give a GN call in your database for the first GN call, system will point and get the first record of your root segment. Now subsequent, that means if you still put it in a loop, if you give a GN call, a get next call and put it in a loop guys, system will traverse based on the database record. And into they'll ask you how the control will move in the database. So anytime you give a GN call with no SSA, okay, anytime you give a GN call with no SSA, system will move from top to bottom for one record, guys, not all the records, for one record. So if you see the numbers here, if you see the number, I get the part A, okay, the corresponding part A prices, okay, all the orange color boxes are of part A, guys. All the blue colored boxes are part B. Okay, so first system will traverse to all the orange color boxes to cover all the part A details. Okay, it will get all your part A details. Once all the part A details are completed, then it will go to part B of the root segment and get its details. So one single database record. So it will go from top to bottom like this. From here, it will go to the top to bottom. It go to the price segment number two. This price has two charges, two additional charge, one GST state, one GST country. So it comes here. It will read all the charges for this price and then again go back to the top. So when it go back to the top, it gets second price for the same part, second price for the same part and it gets here. Once it completes top to bottom, then it goes to left to right like this. Top to bottom, left to right, and front to back. What is front to back is occurrence. Okay, front to back is your occurrence. So you came to stock. All the stocks of this particular plot one will be red. All the stocks of part 12 will be red later. So when you go for a GN call, okay, without any SSA, the reason is you want to read the entire database. 
you want to tell the system to get the whole database like a dump you are creating. Generally, you don't do that, but if you are doing that GN call without any SSA, you are creating a complete database dump, guys. Now, the control may start here on part one and cover all the orange boxes. Then the control will go to the blue count and get the second part details, its price, its additional charge, the stock details of the part, and the order detail. Now, when the control come to 16th order, guys, assume this is your last record of the last part. This is the end of your database. Here, you get the status code as GB, end of the database. 